good morning and a very very happy christmas to each one of you today is christmas day as we all know and the theme for our meditation this morning is the birth of the savior who is the word made flesh behold i bring you good news of a great joy which will come to all the people for to you is born this day in the city of david a savior who is christ the lord may we praise god by singing the first carol Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to His people. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of the Father. Lord God, ever God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray <coughs> the collect that will appear on your screens. Please pray along with me. Almighty God, who sent your only Son into the world to take our nature upon him and to be born of a pure virgin, grant that we, who by his grace have been born again and made your children, may daily be renewed in his likeness by your Holy Spirit, through him who lives and reigns with you and the same Spirit, one God, now and ever. Amen. As we prepare to listen to the Holy Gospel, may we sing our gradual carol.
The eternal word of God is incarnate in Jesus. The Holy Gospel has been taken from Gospel according to St. John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 14. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came for testimony to bear witness to the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness to the light. The true light that enlightens every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. This is the Gospel of Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved in Christ, wish you all a very, very happy Christmas. This story of Christmas has been an annual drill for us. We have celebrated Christmas since our childhood, ever since we were born. Those who have been born in Christmas, Christian families know the joy of Christmas, the celebration, which has mostly been the outer decorations that we see through a Christmas tree, through decoration of the walls, and of course, <coughs> baking of cakes and other celebrations that we make. But this good news of the Word becoming flesh and dwelling among us, and John writes, he says, our eyes have beheld his glory. Well, on that note, the Word becoming flesh reminds me of the water in hot summer put in the fridge and converts into ice cubes. And that is what had happened with Jesus, the Word, as John writes, before the beginning of the world, this Jesus was the Word, and He was with God, and the Word was God. So all condensed and dwelt in this world at which the virtue of God is seen. But then it talks about the light. And I would say the velocity of light. A hundred watt bulb giving only 60% watts of light. There is some loose connection. Perhaps the voltage is very low. It's not plugged in properly. There is some problem in the wiring, whatever be the reason. It can be applied to our spiritual lives as well. That this light that came into the world, many failed earlier and continue to fail to recognize him. And yet they call themselves the children of God. But in the text that we have just heard that was taken from the Gospel of St. John, it talks about those who received him. They have the right to become the children of God. In the Sermon on the Mount, St. Jesus, who is born, whose birth we are celebrating, says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Now this habit to claim 
ourselves to be children of God needs to be reviewed because it comes out so spontaneously since we address him as our father. But here is a point that we need to consider. Those who accept him as their Lord, Master and Savior, those who recognize him as the word become flesh, it is they who have the right to become the children of God. The second thing the text talks about is about true light. Shall I say there is artificial, fake light as well? I would say yes, because many of us get carried away by the grit and glamour of the world and go in that direction and sometimes in the guise, fools in the guise of a sheep mislead people. And therefore, in the later Gospels reading that we, uh, when we read the Gospels, we do discover that Jesus pointed at this, uh, this species of, uh, you know, uh, people or creatures who are fools in the guise of a sheep. They pretend to be sheep, but they are not actually. They are wolves inside. And many of us get carried away. And then, of course, it talks about the uh, refusal which I have just touched to be able to recognize him. And these are the facts that disqualify us to be called children of God because we have not fully hundred percent recognized him. And then as John writes, the word became flesh, dwelt among us. We have beheld his glory is the message of Christmas. That today we have Emmanuel, God is with us. Fear not. That is the message. Do not be afraid. Mary, don't be afraid. Zechariah, don't be afraid. Shepherds, don't be afraid. So our God sent his son into this world so that our fear may be removed. This reluctance to worship a living Lord may go. That we may openly, bravely, boldly spread the good news. If that reluctance remains, and we are closing eyes to the fact that the word has become flesh and dwelt among us. You shall name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. What is this Christmas finally all about? Is it an outer celebration or is it that inner celebration of a birth of a child? who is saviour of the world. Imagine you are caught in a situation where you would have no chance of being saved. And there comes the saviour and says, look, he or she is my child. Do not touch him. He or she is covered in my blood. Can you imagine the kind of feeling you would have of joy happiness, praise and glorification of that Saviour. That is what Christmas is all about. Celebrating the birth of a Saviour, of a child born of the Holy Spirit. And also, birth of Him who is there to save us from our sins that our forefathers from the time of Adam committed. He stands up and goes up to the cross so that you and I might be saved. And it is this Savior, it is his birth who said, I came that you might have life and life of abundance or life in 
all its fullness, that your joy may be complete. Well, can we celebrate within us every day the birth of the Savior, Jesus Christ, who was born in a manger, a humble uh, place where he was born? The scriptures came true, and that people of that age, the wise men came from the east because astrologically it was proven that the king of kings has been born. All scriptures fulfilled and now is the good news that he will come back not as he came last time but it will be as a judge. So let us remember to be watchful because no one knows the day or the hour. Amen. <clears throat> In our intercession, let us join our prayer for the whole human family with the unceasing prayer of Christ the Lord. Heavenly Father, we pray for justice and peace in the world and fullness of life to everyone. Lord, in your mercy. For all who live in this place, for Delhi and NCR, for the removal of all that divides us from each other and for true harmony in our country, Lord, in your mercy. For all engaged in agriculture, industry and commerce, for all workers, skilled and unskilled, and for all those who defend our country, Lord, in your mercy. For teachers and students, scientists, artists and writers, and for all who influence the minds and hearts of others, Lord, in your mercy. For those who are suffering, the poor and hungry, the destitute and oppressed, the unemployed, the sick and dying, and for all who help them, Lord, in your mercy. For all to whom authority is entrusted in this and other countries, and especially for our President, the Prime Minister, the Lieutenant Governor, the Chief Minister of Delhi, and for all who have power over other people, Lord, in your mercy. For the unity of all Christian people and for their witness and service in the world, Lord, in your mercy. For your whole church in our country, for its councils and leaders, especially for P.C. Singh, our bishop and moderator, A. Dharamraj Rasallam, moderator of Church of South India, and Mar Theodosius, Metropolitan of Marthoma Church, for Sunil Gazan and Samuel Shekhar, our presbyters, and for all other ministers of your church, that they may be faithful in their ministry, Lord, in your mercy. That with all your people who have faithfully served you in this life, we all may share in the eternal joy of your kingdom, Lord, in your mercy. Hasten, Heavenly Father, the coming of your kingdom and grant these petitions which we offer in the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Confession of Sin Beloved, our Lord Jesus Christ said, The Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us therefore confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved by God's grace to keep his commandments and to live in love and peace with all people. Let us say together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against one another in thought and word and deed, in the evil we have done 
and in the good we have not done. Through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who forgive one another and truly repent of their sins, have mercy on us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thanks be to God.
service that you just took part in. I want to thank Mr. Nitin for recording this, Mr. John Manohar for editing it finally, and above all my associate Reverend Shaker Sambal who so dedicatedly edits it, capsules all that we record and brings it to John Manohar who gives it a final touch and gets at the day. May God bless them as they continue to serve the Lord through this technology. We are getting very good feedback for uh, whatever we are able to do for the believers who are unable to attend the worship service in churches. Though churches are reopened, yet some are still unable to come. So it is for them that we continue our virtual worship service. Today is Christmas Eve and we have already entered uh, the Christmas day. Midnight is over. May God bless each and every family and wish you all a very, very happy Christmas. May God bless you and your families abundantly. Continue to pray for us and as we keep getting the feedback, many ask us how they could contribute to our ministry. Well, the facility was available on the screen. You could pay through UPI and uh, contribute as you wish. May we sing our closing carols.
Lord. In the name of Christ, 